So yesterday during a, a video, you know, I was talking about the Bible, the Bible changes, like the uh, Mandela Bible changes, and I mentioned Dio. So I, uh, I put a picture of him and I in the video from uh, the 90s on his uh, Strange Highways tour. And then I used the same photo in the thumbnail uh, of us holding Bibles, which we were not doing. We were giving the, uh, the devil horns, which at the time, they weren't the devil horns. I mean, this is, he was the only guy that did that. And um, the reason he did it is because when he, he started doing it in 1980, when he replaced Ozzy in Black Sabbath, he said Ozzy would always run around on stage with giving the peace sign. So what his idea was uh, to do his thing was to do the, it was called the Moloch, which also I means to me that's, that's Moloch, right? But he said it was an Italian curse uh, that his grandmother taught him. And what it was is when you faced the thumb and finger toward yourself, it was protection. And when you put it out toward the crowd, it was, well, when he put it out toward the crowd, it was sort of like a curse. And um, that was his idea so he could do his own hand signal thing. And no one, okay, really did that at all, except him. You had the, um, the other one that didn't have the two fingers. It was like the love thing, like this. You know, I'd seen that, but no one did that. That was his thing, you know, for a very long time. I mean, even up to like 2001. And I remember when he died, uh, there was a lot of talk about crediting him with that you know, people talking about that. Gene Simmons tried to uh, trademark it and ended up not being able to do it. I think he was advised that it was retarded. He's, he's just the fucking worst anyway, Gene Simmons. He's, he's not a good man. Uh, he's full of demons. He is a demon. Appropriate that he's a vampire character because uh, it fits him well. I don't even have to, I don't have to have anything pop up on the screen. I think we all know what I'm talking about when they say vampires. But um, let's go this way. I like this over here. But yeah, he, some, somewhere it became popularized in like culture. And then it just kind of became the devil horns. But Dio was the first one to do that. But uh, yeah, so I, he was, I put him in the video. And then, um, oh, I don't want to walk into these people's thing. He's doing something. So the, um, I put it in a video and then I did the, uh, put in the thumbnail and whatever. And like the very next thing that I looked at on the internet was the, uh, they're doing on the internet. <laughs> you know, do you have to say that anymore? Do you even have to qualify? Like, no, I, I saw it in, in my, in my talent here. I was, uh, I was looking at my orb. I was pondering my orb. The, um, the first thing I saw was that they're showing his uh, new movie right up the street from me. Uh, but it's only one show time. It's Wednesday, uh, Wednesday night at like 7 o'clock. So I might go to that. I'm thinking I'm going to. Because it's like, it's not far away. It's like a half hour walk away. Um, to a place I've never actually been before. And all my years of living here, the, um, it's, what's it called? It's fucking, oh. <sighs> Something entertainment center, I'll put it on the screen. But, um, so I'm gonna go there and I'm, I'm gonna do some, um, I'm gonna shoot some footage there and try to make something out of it. If there's anything interesting about it. But, um, yeah, it made me think a lot about synchronicity. Like, it's just weird, like, what are, what are the chances, right? Like, not very good that that would happen. Synchronicity is a big part of what has been, always been referred to as a spiritual awakening, you know, with different people. The, for me, I, it's more like just the awareness that there is uh, something going on in the spaces you can't see. Synchronicities, uh, for me, they always kind of existed. But it wasn't, um, 
as often. It didn't have the frequency, and it didn't have the, the outlandish kind of uh, nature to it that they do now. Um, it just seems a lot of it's inexplicable. My wife and I call them Mario's because uh, I think I did a video on this before. In fact, I know I did about how we were, we were kind of just being followed around by Mario in the strangest ways. He was showing up in stores and advertising. Some of the weirder ones was uh, her and I walking home from her work and a guy's driving by in a car cranking the fucking theme song, like the 8-bit theme song. Like, doo, 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 doo. He just listened to that soundtrack. There was a busker out here that uh, I came upon one day. Uh, he was playing the theme on guitar. He just, it kept popping up. And then, I mean, so whenever we have these kind of synchronicities, we just call them Mario's because that was the first time that I explained it to her what was happening with this. And like I said, while these things have always existed in life, it's post-2016 when that, the real weird stuff started happening, when the human resonance went up a bump, uh, the synchronicities started becoming more inexplicable. <laughs> Like, you know, the, the chances are just weren't very good of these things happening. And I believe, to me, I, I always looked at it like a positive thing. Like, uh, it's telling you, yeah, you're on the right track, or yeah. Because a lot of times, uh, when they're, it's like they're answering a question sometimes. I was doing that yesterday, and I had something like that pop up. Uh, to talk about cigarettes in, in particular. Um, and I, I uh, was in the store and there was ABBA was playing, which you don't hear all that much. And I came out here and I was like, yeah, I should shoot some stuff to try to make a video out of it for later. And like, what the fuck am I gonna talk about? I didn't really have anything on my mind. And um, a car came cruising up playing an ABBA. And I'm like, ah, oh, synchronicities. It's a good subject. I, I haven't hit on that in a while. But um, when watching it back in, in editing, it was just shit, so. So that's what I'm doing here. So then after that, right? I'm like always, uh, I'm five steps up, two steps back here. So then I, I did the one with Dio in it, and then I saw the thing for his movie, and I'm like, okay, it's, to me, that's like a sign that gets telling me, yeah, you, you can do that, or yeah, you have to do that. You don't have to, but, yeah, to me, it's like, it's a positive thing. Although you do see, like, negative stuff, too. Like, like 666 pops up all the time. These Gematria numbers, I get a lot of them all the time. Um, and I know there's that whole thing where the uh, the normie will say, well, it's just because you're thinking of it that you're going to see it. Those are the same people that will tell you like the Mandela effect is just uh, is bad memory. You know? I, I kind of tune those people out. Um, and, and with time, it's to me, it's become clearer that they're not just doing it to be contrarian. It's the system defending itself. Uh, aspects of the system, not all of it, because some of it is a bit personal. But um, the way the system protects itself is a lot like if you get a cut, you know, or you hurt yourself. You say you get like a wound, and you um, and you're bleeding, right? Your system will just send white blood cells to patch up that cut, to, to, to fix itself. It's not thinking, oh, this idiot, you know, uh, cut his finger on this specific thing, doing it's not thinking about that. It works autonomously. And that's how a lot of this, the thing protects itself. I used to think demons work that way, but they don't work that way. I've learned, uh, I learned differently. But I still think that uh, people around you work that way. Um, because there's really no reason for them to uh, to do to do it, it otherwise, uh, and, and especially with the anger, you know, people get really mad at you for uh, for going against the reality narrative uh, unnecessarily. So, and like, what's that word I'm looking for? I like how I lose common words. It's just fucking banish into the ether. I don't know. I can sit here and try to fucking remember if I'm not going to. Uh, inappropriately. That's not even it, but that's what I'm going with. 
it's like their reaction is is way over the top comparative to whatever the fuck you're talking about. Like, yeah, I don't I don't think I don't I don't even even mean anything wild, but you know, just just for example, like, yeah, I don't know if dinosaurs, you know, if they were really that ubiquitous or anything like that where you challenge like what is uh, taught in school, they get angry. You know, they get angry. Well, the first thing, and I've talked about this this kind of process before, the first thing they do is, is they'll laugh at you. They'll try to humiliate you. They're like, oh, no, no, no. Because social shame and, you know, people goofing on you has a lot of power in society. For some reason, it's never really been a thing for me. And sometimes that's all it, all that is required to get people to snap back into the, uh, you know, the Borg, the hive mind they're all part of. You know, they'll just snap right back into it. But if you don't, right, then comes the anger. Like, well, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's humiliation, then it's anger. And then if you're angry long enough, then it just goes to complete dismissal, where now you're marginalized and you're not part of any conversation because anything you say is not because you are absolutely crazy. That's the system. That, that's the system working to protect itself. Because there's no incentive for people to act that way. I mean, you can always say, well, a lot of people are dicks. It's like, yeah, they are dicks, but uh, they don't like to expend energy on stuff. Um, that's outside of their, their own uh, immediate interests. Or at least that's how I feel a lot of people operate. Like a lot of what they're doing during the day, social interactions or... Uh, any kind of long-term or short-term goals is always in service of, of something they need or something they want in that immediate time. You know, they're, they're not taking the long view on much. So if they're expending energy to, to try to get you to, to think differently or be mad at you, it, it, that, that just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, it makes more sense to me that they're part of a system, you know, that's being activated to protect itself um, against you. You know, whatever, however that takes form. You know, you have people up to and including people getting violent. You know, I told a story not too long ago. Uh, did a video about how my one of my friends knocked me out, sucker punched me in McDonald's, with my head down, walking out, grabbed my cigarettes because I was trying to tell them they're never going to colonize Mars. At the time, in the media, they were talking about we're going to Mars. And I was like, dude, you can't go to Mars. There, there's no way. You know, I don't even know uh, if I went schizo on it, but I think he, he was more like, oh, what do you think, the Earth is flat? You one of those people? I'm like, no, but it's not fucking round because that's retarded. How would that work, you know? And I don't know. I don't think, it's more like a realm. It's more like an area, I think, that reacts to our perception because you can't get up there to see anyway. You're not going beyond the firmament, you know, and that's it. But I'm not seeing, you know, flat earth, the whole flat earth thing is retarded. Like a lot of people like, oh, said, why is everything else round but the earth is flat? It's like, uh, you can't really have those conversations with people anymore. Like I was saying that the other day, my days of trying to explain something like that are over because you're, you're faced with a couple things. Uh, but mostly, I think it's that, that system defending itself thing is, is the main. And it sucks because you don't want to see your, your friends or your family or people you know as just fucking Zogbots. But that's unfortunately a case in, in a lot of cases. There's, there's not many, uh, you know, of us, you know. It's scary. I mean, I don't dwell on it. I don't dwell on it. And you still got to treat them the same, you know, no matter what they are, uh, what kind of uh, thing they are, you got to treat them like they're, like you would want to be treated, you know, always, you know, because like, I've always maintained too that a, a lot of, a lot of what this thing is judged on, uh, the test, if it is still it's a test as it used to be, I don't know how much of it is still in play, but overall, I think uh, that portion of it is, is that it's 
behavior dependent, behavioral dependent. It's not a win or a loss, not a pass or fail. It's a how you, uh, how you behaved during the test. So you always, always act like you're being watched, you know, always. And that shouldn't be the reason why you try to be good. You should just try to, why wouldn't you want to be good? You know, like, what's the alternative? So it's like, always, just not, always treat people in situations as if, uh, as if you're being scored. Because you kind of are. You know, like, I, I do that with, uh, I explain this to my wife and, and some of my friends where it's like, you know, I pick up a piece of trash on the ground, that's five points. You know, I hold a, a door for an old woman, that's ten points. I, I, I make a fun game out of it. Like, you have to make a fun game out of this. This whole thing is so trippy and fucking insane, you know? That's the thing that, that's weird. It's like life, uh, once you realize uh, or even begin to understand um, that there is a point to all this and that there is a system that's working independent of you that you're involved in, whether you believe it or not, it's still going to keep functioning. It makes things interesting, man. You know? It takes the fear away. It takes the fear away. And it takes the, uh, the despair away. I don't know how I got from Dio to despair, but... Yeah, if I go up there, I'll definitely get some footage to try to make something out of it. I haven't done a lot any music stuff in a while. Um, I like to do it sometimes, just to take a break from the metaphysical, the metaphysical stuff. Another fucking humid as fuck day out here. I can't wait for the cold months to come. Another month, just gonna get to the end of September and halfway through October, and then we're back to the good weather. Don't blame the teacher, blame the school. <laughs>